Hi guys, this is I'm Stark and today we are looking at a big factor of our lives and that is temperature and what factors affect temperature. Now we have four factors today which we're going to talk about and the first one I think is the biggest factor and that is latitude. So obviously places near to the equator are a lot hotter. So places such as, in, especially in Africa, are a lot hotter than for example the UK which isn't as near to the equator. Now we've got to know exactly why this is, and that's because this is due to the curvature of the Earth, the angle of the sun in the sky and the layer of atmosphere that surrounds the Earth. So when a sun is directly overhead, its heat is concentrated upon a small area which means that the land warms up rapidly. Going to the North Poles and the Poles, both the North and the South Pole, the sun go at an angle in the sky decreases. That's why when the sun is right um, above of you, it's really, really intense heat. The next one is distance from the sea, and places near to the sea have a small range of temperature. Now this is because in summer the sea heats up slowly and um, the temperature remains lower, however in winter the sea remains hotter so temperatures are fairly mild. So again, uh, that's simply just in summer, you felt you have might have quite a few um, colder summers, so I don't know, still hotter than winter but they're still colder compared to other places, however in winter, your winter will be fairly mild. Some, some places in the UK are quite similar to that. Um, however, if we go to some place far, far from the sea, they have a large range of temperature. And that means in summer they heat up quickly, whilst in winter they lose heat rapidly. So maybe for the countryside or something, in summer they're going to be really, really hot and it's going to be, it can be unbearable heat. Whereas in winter it's going to be very cold because it's losing all that heat very quickly. The next one is prevailing winds. Now, this is because the temperature of the wind depends on where it comes from, which is quite um, self-explanatory. And if the wind blows from the land, it will be warm in summer, but cold in winter. And this, is, um, this, isn't, this isn't what happens in um, Britain, because in Britain, the wind comes from the sea, and that means that it's going to be cooler in summer, but warmer in winter. Now, that's, that's similar to what I was just saying before about distance from the sea, about how in summer the, um, the sea finds it hard to heat up quickly, whereas in winter it, 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 cools, it, um, find, it doesn't cool down too quickly. Now, the final one is altitude. And this is basically, if you've ever been to somewhere like the Pyrenees, for example, and I've got videos on the Pyrenees where I was there, and where everything is very high altitude, it's normally a bit cooler. Now this is because as height increases, the density of the air also increases. Now this means that the air is less able to retain the heat it gets from the ground. This is why snow can stay. So sometimes you might go to a very hot place and snow stays. So thank you very much for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.